let us continue our discussion regarding the fundamentals of conduction. So, here is another topic wherein we are going to have the derivation of the heat conduction uh, differential equation. Okay, so we have differential equation okay so our uh, conduction equation is actually a mathematical expression of the conservation of energy in a solid substance so we are gonna use here the concept of the conservation of energy to derive the equation and uh, will perform an energy balance on the uh, on an elemental volume of the material in which the heat is being transferred only of course by conduction okay so let me write our uh, important expressions here like the conservation of energy so we will be dealing with this and say this is our uh, solid substance or uh, or medium then to derive the uh, equation, the differential equation, uh, we will perform an energy balance on this, uh, on this, on this uh, material, okay, um, wherein the heat is being transferred. So we have. that is being transferred only by conduction okay okay so if we're gonna uh, perform the uh, energy balance on the uh, uh, on the uh, element then uh, let's say we use the rectangular coordinate system and say this is our um, element rectangular coordinate so for analysis let's take some uh, element of our uh, medium or media then if we're gonna do the energy balance on this small element then during a small time interval delta t during the uh, time interval delta t or during some time we can say that we have the uh, flow of or we have a um, uh, flow of energy entering and leaving this element or this system okay so say this is our uh, x y and z direction so we can say this is our x so we have some so we have some q entering the system so we have qx right and we have here the uh, uh, heat leaving the system so let's call it uh, x plus 
delta x right if we have this uh, from initial to its final uh, position x then we have d plus the x delta x so we have the initial from x up to the uh, uh, delta x so we have let's call the q leaving the system as uh, q at x plus delta x okay and uh, we will do the same at y and uh, x axis so this is our y so we have um, uh, energy entering so we have q y and we have uh, q leaving so this is like y plus delta y then for z axis we have uh, z entering the system so this is qz and leaving the system qz plus delta z okay so during uh, the time interval t we can uh, uh, identify our uh, energy balance as happening in our element okay so using the energy balance we can now uh, say uh, the uh, the balance that we have so we have the uh, what are the elements that is going in so we have the uh, uh, qx we also have qy entering this part okay, and this part so they are all entering the system right so plus qz okay and then using the energy balance uh, we can uh, subtract the uh, energy leaving leaving the system so we have these three so minus the uh, q x plus delta x plus q y plus delta y plus q z plus delta z okay and uh, in this case, uh, last time we discussed that we have uh, some cases that uh, there is a heat generation accumulating inside this element. So, we'll need to add the, uh, the what we call the heat, the heat generate, heat generation, and then all these, all these, All these uh, elements at certain period of time can be expressed using rate okay if this is per unit time so we can express this as a rate okay and okay so all this uh, all this balance here is the is the what is the energy entering and leaving our element okay so this is our energy entering leaving our element since this is now per uh, unit time then we uh, we have also had here our delta t so in general we have 
this um, energy balance on the given rectangular coordinate system using an element for time interval t. So we can express this like this. Or you can uh, uh, have the uh, another notation like say uh, let's this part here can be uh, written as this the summation of the q and this part here is entering entering heat entering and this part here is the summation of your heat leaving okay so we have the summation of heat all the heat entering minus of course the uh, uh, heat that is leaving leaving the system and we have some uh, additional heat generation here if we have heat generation if uh, without heat generation then we can cancel this out easily okay but uh, to generalize our equation we can use this plus heat gen heat generation so this is our heat gen then equal to this part here the uh, the uh, the totality of this part is the rate of change of energy content since we are per unit time so this is called the rate of change of the energy content And uh, based from this energy balance, based from this generalized equation, if we derive this, we can have the uh, general heat conduction equation in rectangular coordinate system. So if we're gonna derive this, we will end up having our general heat conduction equation. So the uh, partial derivative of uh, partial derivative with respect to x k dt over dx plus the uh, same thing with uh, y component dt over dy plus plus our heat gen plus rho c dt over d t okay so once again if we're gonna have a lengthy calculations or derivations from this form from this energy balance we will end up having our uh, general heat conduction equation in rectangular coordinate system okay. so this is now our uh, general heat conduction equation in rectangular coordinate system.